This idea of the Guidos uh, has, is not something new. This recent, it has recently come up through the, uh, the Jersey Shore episode and the controversy surrounding it. Uh, the, the idea of the Guido goes way back, and you could probably link it as far back as Rudolph Valentino. As soon as somebody begins being obsessed with the slick hair and the careful grooming and the beauty of Rudolph Valentino, you can say that he probably was the first Guido. Uh, but he didn't walk around trying to pretend and, and kind of create the self-image and, and, and throw it out there. I mean, he, he was very fluid in his images, but he was the diva, the, you know, the original Devo. Moving along, you can see it developing. I mean, I, I would say I grew up as a Guido, although we didn't call it Guidos back then, we were greasers. Uh, we had the slicked hair back, we had the, the, you know, the good sharp clothes on, uh, we stayed in relatively good shape, although we weren't obsessed with lifting weights and so on and so forth, and we didn't. But we were acting in, in this way, but we, I wouldn't call it Guidos. Uh, Guidos comes along specifically through the, the, the images and the, and the uh, uh, films such as Saturday Night Fever. Uh, although there were guys in the neighborhood uh, way before Saturday Night Fever came as a film. These were the Italian kids dressing up to go out and dance disco and so on. So the film kind of took this one Guido and made this big story out of it. Uh, and, and the Guido culture kind of evolves. But what you find happening is that the kids today, they are not particularly Italian. I mean, the only time they really uh, are Italian on, on the Jersey Shore is when they lift their hands and they say salute with a drink. Um, they don't speak Italian. They don't particularly act Italian. There are some qualities which people have identified as being Italian that these kids bring out. For example, after four or five episodes, they have come together like a little family, and they call each other family. Uh, one of the guys cooks. They have meals together. Um, and the Italian families, the mothers and fathers of these kids, actually come to the place. I could never have imagined my mother coming to a place where I was partying, like if I was going to Key West, Florida, to have my mother come there, I, that, I would be you know, totally shocked and embarrassed. So there are some interesting qualities here that are uh, kind of oozing out throughout the show. Um, but this sense of, of them being Guidos and being kind of self-identified as Guidos um, is their own calling. I mean, Italian-American culture must take responsibility for having made the Guido one way or another whether we did it intentionally or we did it by uh, ignoring our Italian-American youth and not giving them viable alternatives. Uh, I can tell you that the students that I teach at Queens College and the students that I used to teach at Stony Brook University, when they took my courses in Italian-American studies, they saw a variety of ways of identifying as Italian-Americans. Um, these kids suffer from not having had that variety. Uh, I bet you none of these kids have ever been to Italy. You pick them up and bring them to Italy and you see how fast that Guido attitude will, 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 will change. Um, so there's, it's, it's a very interesting phenomena and it's, it's not something that has just been born recently. It's something that's been around for a long time and I think it's something that needs to have further discussion and further elaboration so that people can truly understand that Guido does not necessarily mean something derogatory. In the wrong context, it can be derogatory. But I have friends named Guido. I'm not going to stop calling them Guido. I Guido una macchina. I'm going, I'm going, am I going to say I'm going to io faccio la macchina because I don't want to use the word Guido anymore? So this thing can't get taken to pretty, pretty extremes. And I think if someone says to me, hey you Guido, I would take that as offensive. But if somebody says, hey, I'm a Guido, I don't think anybody should take that offensive except for maybe the kid's family if they don't like it. But, you know, when they're self-proclaiming this, um, you know, using the N-word, when, when African Americans just say, I'm a nigga, you know, who's, who's taking offense to that? But if we call them that word, then they would probably take offense. So it's all, it's all in the context. And that's what I think we have to understand the context of uh, the Guido.